Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com with more secrets to unlock his heart. Today we're talking about, does he love me? Seven signs to look for. There's no doubt that one of the questions I get most frequently is how a man feels for a woman and how she can know if it's really love. Sometimes I forget just how hard it can be for women to read men's emotions. So let's start out really quick by giving you three reasons why men keep their emotions so hidden. Why he hides it, number one, he's not as in touch with his emotions as you are. See, men don't grow up in a very emotionally expressive environment and it's not something that other guys foster. So he's not gonna be as uh, keen to identify his emotions as you will be. Reason number two is he's just not sure about what he's feeling. Again, this goes hand in hand with the previous one. Men aren't really educated to their emotional state as well, so we sometimes can't identify what the emotion is. Very often a guy will retreat into silence or just go off on his own just to identify what's going on with himself emotionally, which is one of the reasons he can pull away. Guys feel very pressured in emotional conversations. Why he hides his feelings, number three, is he's just not necessarily feeling anything. So if you're asking him what's going on, what's wrong, what are you thinking, sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes he just is. He might not be experiencing any measurable or significant emotions. Most men don't go through as many frequent cycles of emotions as women do. So sometimes it's nothing at all. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the seven signs that he loves you. Sign number one is he's drowning himself in you. When a guy finds that uh, he's got a woman that really brings out his feelings, he sometimes goes a little bit nutty, he goes a little crazy, maybe even a little stalkerish, and he wants to immerse himself in your life. He'll want to meet your family, your friends, he'll be interested in your life and your hobbies. He'll just generally jump in with both feet. So sometimes it can freak you out, but give him a chance and you'll find that he's probably really into you. Signal number two that he loves you is he's focused on your happiness. Now this one can be some, it can be kind of tough to spot because you might not interpret his actions as being focused on you. Maybe he's trying to fix things for you or do some stuff around the house. Men love to show love more than they actually talk about love. With a guy, your happiness is entwined with his. So he's not gonna feel confident unless he's making you happy. Sign number three is he keeps you informed. One of the ways that guys show that they feel for you is how he's gonna do his best to keep you in the loop, what's going on with him. He'll ping you by text, letting you know if he's gonna be late or what time he's gonna arrive or who he's hanging out with. Sometimes he can kind of over-inform you, but that's just his effort to pull you into his life. Signal number four is persistence. This can also tell you that he loves you. See, guys are funny when it comes to the women that they love. He might not say anything to you directly, but you can always figure it out from his actions. And this is why so many women often misread and misunderstand men. She expects him to have the same love language, but he'll probably try and show it to you with actions instead of words. But guys will be persistent, whether it's getting you out with him or even when it comes to just nagging you a little bit about cleaning up your makeup in the bathroom, he sticks with it and he'll persist because he's in the game with you. Again, that's one of the best indicators that a man is interested in you and loves you is not necessarily that he's saying it, but he's expressing it by being there, by actually persisting and taking part in your life. Signal number five, that he's head over heels for you as he tells you or hints at how special you are. You see, one of the ways that a guy will tell you uh, right out of the blue that he loves you is not by saying he loves you. He'll say something to the effect of, I really care about you, or you're very special to me. Now, maybe not in those exact words, but it'll sound very close to that and very much like that. To the untrained ear, it'll just sound like he's barely making any kind of an emotional statement, but it's actually a huge one. This is how he tells you that he loves you. Signal number six, he makes sacrifices for you. And this is a big one, mostly because women don't realize that men are pretty selfish with their time. Women tend to make sacrifices to avoid looking bad with their friends, but guys, on the other hand, we don't do this. If we don't wanna do something, we won't even offer. We'll do everything we can, in fact, to stay out of the firing line. But again, if he loves you, he's gonna be there with you. He's going to, uh, if you're sick, for instance, he'll make arrangements to stay with you. He'll make the sacrifice instead of going out with the boys. He'll make these sacrifices because he wants to demonstrate his feelings this way. He may not say it, but this is how he shows it. And a guy who's willing to move around huge blocks of time for you is a guy that's in love. He just doesn't do this for anyone, so you're probably on top of his list if he prioritizes you like that. Signal number seven is he's enmeshed. Now, enmeshing is a term that means weaving together. At the start of a relationship, a guy is going to stay focused on his own freedom at first. In fact, he'll probably be extremely protective of his liberty. This is something that makes a man feel more like a man. When he's in love with you, he'll start to create rituals with you or they'll just naturally evolve with you. 
And this is a part of the emotional journey a man goes through before he comes to that crucial decision to really commit. And more importantly, many things in a relationship come down to actually just letting them happen for a guy. He just lets things go to a certain direction. Like he lets you keep your toothbrush over or he lets you stay over more often. That's typically how this pattern happens in relationships with guys. Sometimes you might be worried that a guy is falling out of love with you and pulling away from you. First of all, don't despair, don't panic. There is a way you can turn things around and it's by knowing exactly where his emotions are, where he is on his emotional journey. Most women underestimate how powerful having this skill can be, the ability to read a man. But once you can read him, once you can tell where his mind and his heart are, it can keep your relationship on track for as long as you want. Now I've got a great article for you to go take a look at and go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash read his signals, where you'll learn how to Guess what? Read his signals. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash read his signals. And find out how you can understand and read men and really know what's going on inside his head. This is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com. I'll be talking again soon. And as always, live and love with passion.